In this video, I'm going to teach you the most important move in the golf swing for unbelievable consistency. And what is it? As, as you're starting the downswing, I want you to leave your hands and arms and chest where they are whilst the rest of your body turns. Now, what that does, that does three things to your golf swing with one movement. So, the act of leaving the hands and arms and chest where they are as you turn down in the downswing with lower body mid torso. That movement there, as you can see already, what's that doing to the club shaft? Naturally, that is shallowing the club. So if I hit a ball here, the second one I'm gonna do, leave hands and arms up and chest where it is, and I'm gonna turn down in my downswing. You can see how nicely that club just shallowed out. So it's gonna help with that in that club shallow and that leads to the second thing what does shallowing the golf club help with it helps with rotation so again we're going to see my quality of rotation here is going to be unbelievably good because the club is shallow so then i can just turn through the golf shop so same thing here so you can see just leaving them up turning that body i was rotating through that golf ball really well because i started my golf swing in that good sense and that again leads to the next best bit of this is because i'm starting my downswing in that rotational manner i'm starting it in the correct sequencing and that is the lower body mid torso so that's rib cage and down starting to rotate and leaving as we said the chest where it is that's going to make it so it'll be really hard for you to swing over the top because guys who swing over the top they're starting that downswing with either their chest or their arms are the first thing to move, which throws the club massively out on the outside. So shallow in the club, rotation, and not swinging over the top from just leaving the hands and arms and chest where they are at the top, whilst here down, turns. So to get this, I've got a good few drills to give you for this. So as you know, I always love to give you a bunch of drills for it. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do two dry drills. So drills without a golf ball, and a brilliant one with the golf ball, which is really challenging but gets you in that position nicely so with this dry drill i want you to get up to the top of the swing with just your left arm put your hand with your right hand to so the palm on the butt end of the club here now i want you to turn lower body mid torso down towards the target but put no pressure with the butt end of the club into your right hand so feel no pressure so just like this turning lower body mid torso putting no pressure into that butt end of the club into the hand there so you can see how that is going to keep everything back whilst you're turning and see what already that's doing to the shaft. It's shallowing it like crazy. It's letting gravity hit it, center of mass and then pitching it behind. So that drill, of course, doing a lot of that in between reps or between shots on the driving range or in your net will be a brilliant thing to do. Get up to the top, holding it there, turning, getting those good reps. If you practice with someone, have them put one of their hands, so you can do it with both hands, have them put their, one of their palms on there and just put no pressure into that palm of your friend's hand. It's gonna do the same thing. Three to five of those in between every shot would be ideal. Of course, channel favorite drill. Resistance band up to an upright. You've seen this loads of times. So I'm not gonna go through massively explaining it. So we're gripping onto a resistance band that's attached to an upright. We've got resistance here. We now can't possibly move our upper body. We can only separate and move lower body mid torso. Really twist, really turn it. You can see the lines in my shirt, how they're really talking, creating this big separation. It's leaving the hands and arms up. So those are two great drills to do without a golf ball. So the drill with the golf ball. Now this is the old Tiger Woods drill of stopping at the top and swinging from there. But this is a drill that is so multi-purpose and it's so good for literally absolutely any golfer. But for this, it's the most ideal way to work on it. So we get up to the top, keep everything there, and really focus on either the, everything staying where it was and turning lower body mid torso. So having a couple second pause, then turn down. Or we could also feel like the hands are going in the other way as we're turning down. So we could be stopping it here for a couple of seconds and feeling like as we turn down, the hands are actually moving back. Again, look what's happening to the shaft. Shallowing it. So shallowing it, good sequence, no over the top, good rotation. So let's do one here, stopping at the top. Just gonna to stop it for about a second, but then making sure lower body mid torso is unwinding. Everything here is staying up. It will all follow down. Your chest is gonna follow the rotation 
because the coil of your body is going to pull that chest back through. The club won't get stuck behind you. So here we go. So if I do that, let's do another one. Stopping at the top and turning through. That'll be a brilliant way to practice every single shot. If you want to get this into your golf swing, highly recommend getting this into your golf swing, guys. Like I said, it's going to be unbelievable consistency. The rotation is going to give you a stable club face going through the golf ball. We won't be at the mercy of our hands. The shallow and the no over the top is going to control our club path nicely. Those two together, consistent club path, consistent club face means straighter golf shots just from that. It's going to do it. So I'd really recommend putting a lot of practice of this. If there's an area that I want golfers to be really good at, it's the transition. This is a way and a way to practice. You can also see this is like a routine that you can do every single time. Do it in a net, do it at the range. You can do it anywhere. So if you enjoy this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every single time I put out a video. So let's do this in our golf swing for that unbelievable consistency.